What's up everyone? Happy spooky season. It feels like opening night here at Not Scary Farm because we're here for the Not Scary Farm 50th anniversary nightmares reveal event. We're gonna be learning about all the stuff that's new coming to Not Scary Farm this year as well as doing some exclusive stuff that you can only do here at this event. So join us. Let's go get inside and have a great night here at Not Scary Farm's official announcement event for 2023. It's so weird. I haven't been in this lot in such a long time seeing the backside of Knots here. Got hang time, which is an amazing view from here. Coast Rider, that skeleton over there, an accelerator, and the rest of Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, it's really busy. Knott's definitely sold out. They uh, made the right move extending different ticket sales because before it sold out, and then they're like, all right, let's uh, allow even more quantities. It's busy. We found our spot for the uh, presentation here. We got a good shot of the screen, so I think this is good. And we're away from all the crowd in the back, so we don't have to. Uh, block anyone or get trampled or anything like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our not scary farm master of ceremonies and the man who knows what's in the bar, Mr. Jeff Tucker! Did you miss me? I sure missed you. It's been four years since we've done this. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you for waiting. Hello to all the Scary Farm fans out there, baby! The Godly Returns! This classic scare zone returns to put the evil in medieval. Live out your wildest fantasies in this ghost from the past as the Gauntlet returns. First up, roll it. Cinema Slasher. Take in a fright-filled flick at the Midnight Theater, but you may find yourself in a starring role. Venture through the screen itself and into the movie worlds of the Cinema Slasher. Will you make it to the sequel or wind up another victim of the Midnight Theater? Shh, the movie's starting and it's gonna be a killer one. The journey begins in the condemned theater, we walk into the auditorium and walk through the screen and right into the middle of the film. And you yourself become a star in this film, being chased by our mass slasher. You're going to see an homage to all these mazes from the past. We have an homage to Slaughterhouse, to Trick or Treat, as well as Camp and Kitchen. The cinema slasher killer is based off of one of our old dark ride overlays, Slasher of the Dark. All these things we're tying into this haunted movie theater as an homage to the 50th because we are going back to these attractions and using them as theme pieces throughout the maze. Through the trio of terror that we created, three different films, you're going to see these horrific images and scenes. What you see on the screen is what you're going to be walking into. When you walk in, he's going to turn his focus to you, and you are going to become a part of this film. 13. 18. 18. A dangerously addictive new cocktail named the Devil's Elixir lies at the blood-red heart of the Blind Tiger murders. But where did it come from? Check into the extravagant Argive Hotel where you may find the answers, or you may not be found at all. <laughs> so we're taking the story that we've had in the Goring 20s, we're continuing that on inside our brand new maze, room 13, and I'm incredibly excited for all of our guests to come see it. You finally get a chance to go behind the scenes and kind of see where the Devil's Elixir came from. Now, the Argive Hotel is a beautiful Art Deco hotel. You'll notice that, although beautiful, that there has been something sinister or something terrible that's happened, and that's all caused by this Devil's Elixir. So I'm incredibly excited to be able to dive in and uh, see a little bit more of the Blind Tiger and the origin stories of the Devil's Elixir. Room 13. Room 13, baby. All right. Back in 1977, Knott's Terry Farm debuted The Ten Chilling Chambers. Anybody remember that one? Right. We probably need back medicine then. <laughs> to celebrate our 50th anniversary, we are debuting the modern version, last up of the new mazes, The Chilling Chambers. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Please welcome the murderous maniac who presides over the chamber itself, the Keeper! Bridging up the borders of the past in the ultimate 
not scary farm 50th anniversary tribute maze, The Chilling Chambers. Right into the Origins Lights On Tour. I'm excited. I'm pretty sure they're gonna let us record in there. I don't see any signs that say we can, so we shall see. It's the first time I've ever seen a. Wow. Nice. This is this is awesome. I don't have to walk out here and keep my guard up and be afraid of scary monsters. Walk through and enjoy all the sets. Look like a boo hole. Boo! Ah! <laughs> wow. And they have all the audio on in here, that's cool. Alright, that guy's not having a good time at the bank. I know there's a cool lighting effect in here usually. This is actually kind of scary because of how dark it is in right here. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Wow, impressive. Now we are in like the church scene. Usually there's like a cool projection scene right here. Now I'm really afraid that one of these are just gonna jump up randomly. That'd be terrifying. You can kind of get a good idea of just how like large this building is if you look up. The, the Calico Saloon. Scary baby, right there. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not expect that to be on. <laughs> oh man. That's awesome. How'd you, how'd you feel when that popped out? That was not part of the Wow. More skeleton bones all over the place. I'm uh, wondering if that's gonna pop out right now. No, I think we're good. Okay, we're good. We're about to go into the Katwampus area. Like, but this time there's no Sarah Marshall. We can see how it is. So, Katwampus this way? All right, let's go find him. It'd usually be like in here somewhere, popping out. A big scary eye. Since it is dark outside, the uh, finale scene looks like how it would normally look, just with no characters, no uh, witch up above. We do get the grimoire right here, which is the book. Now, now my uh, my guards up. Like I feel like there's characters in here. It's, oh my goodness, why did I fall for that? Why, I genuinely don't know why I fell for that. Okay, so, wow, there's lots going on. This event was only 20 bucks. I just wanna put that into perspective. It's awesome, so talking about the presentation, since we kinda just went right into uh, Origins right away, but I am so excited for everything they have offering this year. Cinema Slasher, definitely uh, the one that I'm most excited for, for sure, out of the new mazes. That's gonna be located where Pumpkin Eater is at. Of course, Room 13 will be in that new location over here in the uh, Boardwalk section slash Goring 20 section. And then, of course, the Chambers. Oh, I'm sorry, the Chambers will be where Pumpkin Eater is at. And then Cinema uh, Slasher will be where Darker is at. I got them all mixed up. But yeah, I am 
man, I am so excited for Scary Farm this year. They have an amazing 50th anniversary cooking up. Uh, let's go see what the rest of this event has to offer. <laughs> Top three new mazes that you're excited for. In order of what they came out as. Really? So, what was it? Cinema, Cinema Slasher, uh, Room 13, and then the Chambers? Yeah. Fair enough. Especially since you haven't gone to Scare Farm like a whole lot. Yeah. There's a lot of history tied into the chamber, so I'm actually <laughs> quite excited for Cinema Slasher though. Yeah. It's like a, a campy horror I movie. That one's gonna be scary, the scariest. It, it, it definitely looks like, I mean, they showed some of the concept art yeah. for the rooms and it looks terrifying. Into the fog we go. All of the spooky fog here in Ghost Town. We were literally just here a week ago saying, imagine all the fog here. And now we have it. Is it all the anxiety inducing with the fog coming out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do something! Do something! Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, there we go. So they did announce the Hanging Uncanceled, which it will be located right over there in Wagon Camp. You'll actually be able to sit during the hanging. Very exciting stuff. Okay, we're working our way into the Calico Square section. This is where they have a whole bunch of different monsters. Goring 20s right here. And the Legacy Store already has a line right over here, so we're gonna go hop in line for that. Signs are there, but they're not lit up for all the back lot mazes, the depths, dark entities, waxworks, and bloodline. Look at waxworks way over there. The facade's up. The lights are on on the inside. It's kind of creepy how it's just sitting there flickering. It'd be really interesting to see how crowd control is uh, during the actual event when they have this and the store. Update for all of you. We've been in line for about an hour. We're about to make our grand entrance. I don't think it'll be this busy during actual haunt night since obviously this is the first day, so that's why it's so busy. But yeah, about an hour wait. Right over there is the exit. We finally made it into the Not Scary Farm Legacy Store. Oh wow, this is big. This is really, really big. Right off the bat, we have an Elvira tribute right here. As Elvira was such a big part in Halloween Haunt here, not Scary Farm. This is neat. This is what we're agreed with. So this couch was used in the 2017 uh, Elvira's final performance. Oh my goodness, props from Doll Factory? Wow, that's awesome. The meaning of the damned props? A creature head from the Labyrinth Maze. Oh yeah, one of my favorites, Pinocchio Unshrung. Right there. Uh, Uncle Bobo's props down here. Voodoo. Of course, there is plenty of Elvira merchandise all over here. Got some stickers, some posters, some Elvira socks it looks like. A bunch of Elvira shirts over here. Cool Elvira themed section. These are actually Pretty awesome shirts. This store is freaking huge. Like stuff to be seen everywhere. No wonder why the line was taking so long. Plenty of people spending plenty of time in here just because of how much there is to discover. So many uh, different rooms in here and so many hidden things. Oh look, here's the lantern. They pick it up and see it. There's the lantern right there. It's plastic, it's a little bit heavy duty though. I believe these are $39.99 and they have tons of interactive elements all over the place. Oh look at that, they already have merch for the new mazes that were just announced today. Got Cinema Slasher, Room 13 right over here. Here is one of the check stands at Calico Ghost Town. Oh look, and there's there's Tony. Got, subscribe to Exploring Attractions. Get, get away from me. Bro. Subscribe to the Howling Hour. Let's go play some, let's go play some not scary for Oh, you bought it? You bought it? Yeah, I did. Tune in to whatever Tony does with a live stream Bro. or video or whatever. Yeah, we do it all. And then, of course, we got the book too. Can't go wrong with the book. But this tribute store is awesome. Orlando, you may have a run for your money right it's there. It's not a tribute store, it's a legacy store. 
Tony. Get it right, Tony. Whatever. All right. All right. Bye, Tony. Bye. Uh, obviously, a little trick or treat throwback here with the staircase and all the jack o' lanterns. And if you can very quietly hear, you got the Green Witch yelling in the background as she did in the trick or treat maze. And the line is very, very long to check out at one of the check stands. And this store just keeps going and going and going. There's a bunch of, uh, oh yeah, oh my goodness, uh, like um, tombstones of old mazes. Paranormal Inc., 10 Chilling Chambers, which is coming back. Hatchet High. Rest in peace, Paranormal Inc., though. Rest in peace. The 50th right here. Not Scary Farm. Beautiful photo opportunity. With the gargoyle at the top. Gotta love that. All the 50th banners up here. It's actually a cool uh, photo op in this room as well. So right over here, you can sit on this throne with the vampire wings. That's really neat. It's a really neat photo opportunity. We're gonna exit out of the store right now, but we gotta say our goodbye to Seymour. See you later, Seymour. And see a new revamped version of you in 10 Chilling Chambers in The Keeper. And as we make our way out, we walk right underneath a giant spider. Terrifying, ah! He's coming to get me. And a bunch of cobwebs all over the place in true Knott's fashion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. I don't understand why you do that to me. Like, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Whatever. I, you know, I love haunts, but Savannah still scares me somehow. <laughs> By the way, just another thing added onto this event, they have Ghost Rider open for anyone who's here, which I'm sure it's a pretty short wait compared to everything else. Look at all the lanterns. Everyone's carrying the lanterns already. Everyone's gonna have them for Scary Farm opening night all ready to go. I can only imagine what all those lanterns are gonna do with all the interactive elements throughout the park and throughout the event. And then everyone that came to tonight's event got a free gift, a poster of the 10 Chilean Chambers uh, kind of key art. And then a nice little pin. What is the pin? Is it the same kind of thing? It's of just the guy. Oh, okay, so it's the keeper. A nice keeper pin with that the. Says not That's awesome. I love this. This is. Oh, it's like a phone. Is it? What is like the idea? Of... Oh, it's just like it's a like, little. Like the button and then the little thing, like an iPhone. Saying like calling the keeper or something like that. Sure. Okay, I guess that's the kind of concept. I mean, it's a phone. I mean, I love this. This is freaking cool. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for our amazing night here at the Not Scary Farm official reveal event. Much more than just a reveal though. It was, it felt like a mini Not Scary Farm, which I think was our goal. And let me tell you, they did not disappoint. It was very busy here. I can only imagine how busy Scary Farm's gonna be. With that being said, make sure you get your tickets, your passes, whatever you need for Not Scary Farm this year. But anyways, if you are new here and you wanna see more content like the one that you just watched right now, Please subscribe with those bell notifications on and leave this video a like if you did enjoy it. As always, my name is Scott. You've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.